strikes the Culinary and Bartenders Union have authorized to strike ahead of Tuesday's rally as the union continues to fight for contract rights. A News Now reporter Mary Jane Belly is alive right now outside the Culinary Union with more on what happens next. Brian, with contract negotiations dating all the way back to April, Ted Papa George with the Culinary Union says there hasn't been any progress and the pandemic has changed the workforce, leading some people to feel like they've been left behind. So how much of a raise is the union asking for? Well, they're not sharing any specifics at this time. Nearly 53,000 hospitality workers from MGM Properties, Wynn, Caesars, and more are ready to strike if contract negotiations stall. Culinary Union Local 226 Secretary Treasurer Ted Papa George says the last vote to strike was back in 2018. So what's different this time? There's five big issues out there that, um, that have been on the table, and we've been bargaining since April. And we haven't made any progress, and economics is one of them, but everybody's dealing with inflation. Folks need a raise, um, but also we have to negotiate money for health care, and those costs are always going up. That's something Holly Lang, a cocktail server at MGM Grand, is fighting for. The wages are a concern because obviously inflation is making it hard. I have six kids, and so providing for six kids with the wages and the benefits and all the other things, it's something that keeps us going. Issues of worker safety and union growth is also on the line. There's also issues on technology. Artificial intelligence is a huge issue, and just the technology coming at us. Um, that could eliminate jobs. In an earnings conference call back in August, Caesars Entertainment CEO Tom Reed says he expected new agreements by the fall, while MGM CEO Bill Hornbuckle told investors wage will be a big impact as pay adjustments for housekeepers will likely add to labor costs. Caesars housekeeper Emma Loya is hoping for a better work environment. Sometimes when we are so busy, we just have to skip our lunch because otherwise we won't be able to complete our, our rooms. Now, we are looking at a resolution soon. That's what Papa George hopes for. He says nobody wants to go on strike, but says they will if they have to. Contract negotiations are set to start next week. Reporting live, Mary Jane Belleza, 8 News Now. Thanks, Mary Jane. And Mary Jane did reach out to several gaming properties, including Caesars, MGM Properties, and the Win for Common. Win did come and back saying, quote, our employees are the heart and soul of Win, and we will continue to work with local 226 and local 165 to reach an agreement that provides our employees with competitive wages and benefits.